Hi, I'm Angela and I want to show you how the John 4.0 system works. I hope you can hear me well because my colleagues are also working here. Okay, usually I probe with a 3D tester. Of course, you can also use mechanical edge finders or also with an optical edge finder. Now I will show you the content of the box. Okay. Of course you have a manual, as well a test certificate, the USB flash drive with the macros for the machine, and the cable for the connection. And now, most important, that's the probe, the serial setter, and last but not least, the receiver for the machine. And now I show you how to connect all the devices. <laughs> okay, for connecting, I first open the switchboard. I already prepared it and asked a colleague from the electrics for help and he did the connection for me. But he said that's, that it's really simple. As you can see, the brown and the blue cable are for the power supply for the receiver, the 24 volt power supply. The black one here is the signal for the probe, which directly goes into machine control. Additionally, we have a white cable for the error signal, but we don't need it. It's not necessary for the included macros. Now finally we can connect the receiver. Now I put the cable into the receiver for connecting it. Sometimes it is a bit tricky, but no problem. It's really cool that the receiver has two magnets on the back. That's why I can easily stick it here outside of the machine and I can always see the LEDs. Now I only have to download the macros from the included USB to the machine. I simply insert the USB, choose the program manager. Here you can see the USB is active. I go there, these are the macros. I map them, copy them, Go back to the NC, into the sub-program and insert them here. Alright, as you can see we have the macros here and we can claim the probe now. I choose a collect holder because if you want to get precise measuring results, you should also clamp your probe precisely. Okay, now I fix it and put it into the machine. Ready. Before we can use the probe, we first have to calibrate it. This is necessary as the machine has to know the size of the ball of the probe. I use a gauge ring. For example, with the size 24.001, fix it into the machine and move the probe down to the middle of the ring, into the ring. Okay. For starting the calibration mode, I have to go to the MDA mode. Then I enter parameter R53 to tell the machine that the ring diameter is 24.001 and with parameter R56 equal 1 I tell the machine that I want to measure the diameter of this ring. The, if you would write a 2 it would be the Z axis. So the program is called a WMCAL. Oops, too many. All right, ready. Very important is that the probe is switched on.
can you see the blue light? It means that it is connected to the receiver and I can start it here. Now as you can see the probe drops left, right, front and back and has the machine the size of the ball. As you can see the macro was successful. Now the calibration and set is missing. For that I return back to the shock mode as I have to move out of the ring. I look for any position on the table. Alright. I move the probe carefully down. The good thing is we can see the probe's blue light. It still shines for minutes after the latest probing, which means the probe is switched on for four minutes. Now I go back to the MDA mode. I can delay the parameter or parameter 53 with the size of the ring as I don't need it anymore. And now I simply change the parameter 56 from 1 into 2 and start it. After several probings and set, now set is calibrated and we can see that the macro has successfully been finished and now we can start with our rework but I want to show you in other videos.